Ishtar's Nish is literally translated means then and now. And it's an old person looking back at his youth and thinking, once I was young and now I'm old. So it's a bit sad and a bit contemplative and it needs to be played with plenty of sustain in those notes. So the first thing you've got to be able to do is to be able to play bar chords reasonably well. You may know how to play bar chords, but I wouldn't be surprised if you find you're quite achy after holding them down for a while. So a quick tip is if you find that you're trying to squeeze like this, your thumb against your first finger, just let go with your thumb altogether and just use the strength of your arm to pull against the guitar. You should be able to get a bar chord without holding your thumb at all. And that'll just let the pressure off so that you don't get cramp in your fingers when you're holding bar chords. Looking through it, well, you've, you've got to be able to play a B minor chord for the first bar, because that's where all the notes are. And then it gets a lot easier because you just play an A chord in the next bar, dump your little finger on top, and then go to that same G chord, which uses your little finger to play the tune on top. And the last bar on that line is an A chord, that's easy enough. Then you're back on to bar five, you're back onto a B minor again. Now in this bit, you take off everything really, and then put over what looks like an E minor chord on top of your bar, which is F sharp minor. And you're playing down in the bass notes. And this is quite a tricky move, because you've got to get it pretty quick from an F sharp minor, which looks like that, to a sort of G, which has got your little finger on the note of D string two fret three. So you want to practice doing F sharp minor to this kind of G. F sharp minor to G. And within the context of the tune, this is bar six and seven. So that's the tricky bit from there to there. Moving on, on the last line from bar nine, again, you've got to have that bar for B minor held down. And just at the end of bar nine, you take it off so you can get an open string like this. Lift it off, open string, and then bring it back on for this rather strange D. It is actually a D chord, even though it doesn't look like one. If you want to get technical, it's a D first inversion. And lift that off for again the F sharp minor. Now in the last two bars, it would be nice if you can lift off the bar altogether and just hold these notes down of B, F sharp, and another B, string five fret two, string four fret four, string three fret four, because then you can play an open second string. It can ring on right through the bar while you're playing that bit underneath. So it's that B's ringing on, and maybe if you can get quieter and quieter with the accompaniment beneath. So I'll now run through even slower than usual and just see if you can keep up. <laughs> 